Hey guys, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soap. And we are making a cake today. So excited because it smells so gosh darn good. We are making blackberry jam cake. And I have some blackberries and I got them uh, close enough to the color as I could. It took me four tries and four different variations of color to get it. But I think I finally got it. But before we start, I want to show you guys something. I have been working my tail end off to come up with the recipe and I think I finally got it. Look what I have. That is a solid body butter and it oh it feels wonderful on my skin. Um, if you guys know I had a rash on my arm and I still have it but I've been using um, I tweaked the recipe at first I did it and I didn't like how they came out so I tweaked the recipe and then I did it again and I tweaked the recipe then did it again and I finally came up with a recipe that I really like and um, I am going to actually do it on video for you guys to show you how I make them but it has done wonders for my eczema oh my gosh it is absolutely them wonders. I mean, it's it's wonderful. But I'm excited to share it with you guys. And I just wanted to tell you that. Okay, I'm going to mix this up. My lye, my oatmeal, my goat's milk, all that good stuff's in the bottom of my bowl. I'm going to mix it up before I add my coconut milk and cream. <laughs> Alright, that looks good. Let's add our coconut milk. And I didn't quite have enough coconut milk for my recipe, so I threw a little bit of yogurt in there too. That won't hurt anything. It, make, it just makes it that much better. I'm going to go ahead and put my fragrance in. Hopefully it plays nice. Oh, it smells so good. looks good and emulsified all right I do need to weigh this out because I need a certain amount for one part of my topping and a certain amount for another and I hate pouring from this big old bowl Alright, there's one of my toppings. There's another. And then two, three, so. And then this is going to be white. Okay. So let's get this over here. I'm going to slide those over there. And I saved the colorant that I did my blackberries in um, to do the topping and to do the swirl in this soap. So I'm going to put a little bit of color there for my topping. And a little bit of color here for my swirl. Hopefully that's enough color. And then, oh no, my white. 
I'm just gonna have to add it in with my powder or I can mix it up really quick let me get something to mix this up with here I got something right there I need more white than that I didn't realize I was out of that much out of white and of course I can't find my little scooper Let's see if that's enough. Now I need something to stir it with. Let's use a skewer. Here we go. Hopefully this will be enough. We shall see. Okay, let's do the white first. Yeah, that looks like enough white. needs a little bit more. Ah, oh, there's my scooper. Alright, let me mix this up. Sorry guys, I didn't realize I was out of titanium dioxide. I'll just probably fast forward this part. It's just going to have to be a different color. Me a little bit more purple. Eh, I'll leave it. It's all right. It's already thickened up as it is. Okay, so let's get a um, a spatula here, and I've got mica all over my workstation here. I hope this don't turn out to be like a gray color. 
you know what I want that to be more purple I'm gonna add it I know it's thick maybe I can mix it in with my spatula here That's a little bit better. All right, this is my topping. Let me stir this one real quick. So I can set this to the side. All right. I'm get a paper towel and clean up my mess here. Good Lord, look at all the mica. Okay, that is mixed up. Now let's mix up this white. Now I'm probably going to, yeah, I'm going to pour it into this. That way it is easier for me to pour. I hate pouring from this big old bowl. Oh, it smells so good. All right, that's better. Get our spatulas out here. Let me get my cake pan. And let's get to pouring, so. trying to pour from up high and it's not working you know what I'll probably take a dowel and swirl this around.
let me get it down. Oh, I already got one out. Okay. That looks good. All right, guys, look at that. Look how pretty. I like it. All right, I am going to, let me see. Let me check on my piping. Looks like my purple's about almost ready. Let me check my white. Not quite there yet. Not quite there, guys, so I will bring you back. Hey, guys, Crystal here, and we are back to cut my beautiful cake. Look how pretty that is. I am so proud of myself, guys. That is gorgeous. I've never made such a pretty soap before. I almost hate to cut it, but I do need to cut it. Um, it's been sitting on my counter for a good day. Uh, it was a little tacky when I first got it out, but it feels okay now. Just I pray and hope to God that I can cut this cake right. This will be my second cake I've ever made, guys. So, cutting it, I'm not really used to cutting it. So, hopefully, we will get a clean cut. So, I am just going to kind of, well, score it a little bit, maybe. And see. About that side. Okay. Okay. Now, hopefully, we will be able to get a clean cut. I don't know, hopefully. Okay, moment of truth. Here it goes. Alright, first cut. good look not too good but we can fix it so I'm just gonna take my knife and kind of run it across try to even it out a little bit and it's still really tacky on the inside yeah see how tacky that is I'm almost afraid to cut the rest of it I knew I wasn't going to be able to get a clean cut. I'm just not very good at this, guys. Wow. It's got something on it. There it is. There's the inside of it. Mmm, smells really good. But the berry's in the middle of that one. And then here's the other piece. sure you guys can see it. Alright, now this one. Not too bad. It's kind of pretty. There's another one. 
and the last one and the berries not in the middle again but that's okay all right and I kind of didn't cut these halves straight like I said guys I am just learning how to do this just learning so in the middle would be through this berry so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut through it because I want them to be even.